There are several essentials for any bowel anastomosis. There must be no tension, a good blood supply to both ends of the bowel, and accurate apposition of the bowel ends with an immaculate and accurate suturing technique. We now have the task of an end-to-end -end anastomosis of the two remaining bowel ends. For this anastomosis, we will use an interrupted full thickness suture. We start the anastomosis at the antimesenteric border, inserting a suture in the antimesenteric angle of the bowel from outside to in, and then across to the other loop of bowel from inside to out. Place both ends of the suture in a hemostat, but leave them untied. Now insert a similar stay suture on the mesenteric border, pulling it through gently and again placing it untied in a hemostat. And now we have the bowel nicely controlled and set up for an interrupted sutured anastomosis using a braided absorbable 3-0 suture. For practice you should hand tie all the knots with carefully laid reef knots. We will start again at the anti-mesenteric border and insert a suture approximately 5 mm from our original stay suture. Do not tie the knots too tightly, as this could cause strangulation of the tissues, and yet not so loose as to allow the potential for leakage. Cut the ends about 4 mm long. Work across the entire anterior wall at 5 mm gaps. You may now tie the stay sutures if you wish, but do not cut them, replace them in the hemostats. We are now in the position of being able to rotate the bowel to do the posterior wall of the anastomosis. Pass the mesenteric stay under the bowel and reclip it. And then gently pull on the anti-mesenteric stay and the bowel will rotate and allow the posterior wall to be sutured under direct vision. Once again, insert sutures 5 mm apart using well-laid reef knots and hand ties. Make sure that the angles of the anastomosis, the so-called 6 and 12 o'clock positions, are adequately sutured since these are the most likely areas to leak. Having inserted the whole posterior wall, return the bowel to its normal position, checking there is no gap between sutures. If there are, as here, a further suture can be placed.
If the stay sutures are still untied, tie them now and they can then be cut.